Hello! Welcome to day 12 of my 30 day drawing challenge. If you like, you can also take part and push your creativity with this challenge. You can start whenever you like because it's not necessary to start with the beginning of a month. You can use any medium and style you like, but try to challenge yourself from time to time. If you like, you can also show me your creations by using the hashtag HelloRambu, but you can also use this hashtag to show me your other drawings. I will put a link to the challenge in the description box, so you can simply download it or make a screenshot of it. Try to be creative every day, but if you're not in the mood to draw, it's okay. You can just continue another day. I want to push your creativity, but it's more important to have fun. Take your time to do the challenge at your own pace. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Hello Rambonators! I get a lot of messages if I do commissions and because I have so much work to do, my answer is always that I don't do any at the moment. But now there are finally a few commission slots available in my Etsy store. So if you are interested in getting an individual hand-drawn sketchbook or a portrait of you as a manga figure or an illustration of your self-created character and so on, make sure to check out my Etsy shop which is linked in the description box down below. And if you are rather interested in getting my art book, also make sure to check out my shop. Let's continue with today's challenge of my 30 day drawing challenge which is about drawing a person falling. But today's topic is mainly about using references, because it seems like there are a lot of conflicts about artists using them. So to make it short, uh, this is my opinion of it. References are important. A few weeks ago I bought this little figure named Buddy-chan and I also got Buddy-kun as a little help for um, creating full body poses, perspectives and interactions between two characters. Things uh, which I possibly might struggle with imagine by myself. So for today's drawing you can see that I'm trying to create my own reference of a person falling. I wanted it to look as natural as possible so it doesn't look like she's flying. Um, I want it to look a bit like uh, someone pushed her down from a roof. Uh, yeah, which is pretty evil, but um, I think uh, this uh, tells a story <laughs> about this picture. Of course, it's not necessary to have one of these figures. You can also do your own references by taking pictures of yourself or ask friends or family members for posing for you. Or you can use Google Images, which I don't really recommend because of the copyrights. But there are also on DeviantArt people who do awesome posing references. For example, Senshi Stock is doing a lot of different poses for artists to use. And as far as I know, she is really happy about artists giving credit to her. Um, and there are also a lot of pose resource books for artists. Um, but what I really don't recommend is to use non-realistic art like anime or comics as a reference for practicing poses or anatomy. Because these are already stylized and the artists behind these pictures mostly um, have already mastered the human anatomy. And by mastering I don't mean knowing every bone, but knowing how the human body looks like, how the movements of um, different body parts work, and most important, the human proportions. And this is something you need to learn if you are into drawing humans. There is no excuse like, but it's my style. You know what? This is completely bullshit. This is a pretty cheap excuse of artists who don't want to learn these essential things. What are you afraid of? Of learning and getting better? 
Yeah, just sit down with this excuse, so it will definitely get better with this mindset. Sorry for sounding like this, but this is something that really pisses me off. If you know the rules, you can break them every time without that it looks weird. And I know that you all can make it. Just practice and continue and be patient with yourself. But don't find excuses for staying at this level and be frustrated because it doesn't go on. That's not good for you. Keep in mind that you can do it. Because it's true, if you practice a lot and take serious studies, it will get better, believe me. Just do it! Of course, Buddy Chan is also stylized, but it shows a lot more human anatomy than a wooden dummy. And so it's pretty helpful for me. It's important to draw from life and as far as it's possible for you not to draw from photos. This is because um, when you are drawing from photos, you are mostly missing the understanding of composition, illumination and expression and a lot of details which you can't really see in a photograph. Plus, in a photo, you only have one perspective. But if you draw from life, you can draw several different perspectives in one session, which is great. So, well, what makes me a bit sad is to see many aspiring artists who don't want to use references. Because some feel like uh, they are not good enough for not drawing from their imagination. Or they are afraid of getting judged or claimed as a tracer, um, being not creative enough, or even worse, um, they feel like uh, they are cheating. This is completely nonsense. Stop thinking that way. Believe me, every artist is using references. Not always, but they use it. And it's not a bad thing. I guess uh, people who are complaining about you using references don't even know what references are. References are a guideline to assist us in drawing and help us to learn. For example, close your eyes and imagine a beautiful horse. You might have now an image in your head like a photograph of a horse standing in the green and it looks totally beautiful. So we do basically know how a horse looks like, right? Now open your eyes and start drawing it. You just can't. I also wouldn't be able to draw it. But this is because you don't know how to draw the proportions, etc. Because the anatomy is not something that can be easily memorized. But of course, you can achieve it by practicing a uh, drawing with the reference of a horse and practice a lot. Practice is not a magic pill you just put in your mouth and then it works. Practicing is a long, hard work, but one day you can retrieve that knowledge you have learned. And of course, you can also use references to create your own art, such as um, a base, a guideline, like, for example, I did with Body Chan. References are pretty convenient if you don't know how uh, something really looks like. But what can happen sometimes to artists is that they feel like getting stuck on using references. Like they can't draw simple poses from their imagination or retrieve um, what they think they should have already learned. It's possible that they are focusing too much on uh, watching the reference and just draw without thinking about it, uh, without internalize uh, what they are seeing and drawing. So if you started recently uh, using references, of course it needs some time to learn. Uh, just be patient. But if you feel stuck for a long, long, long time, let me say for about two years of intense drawing and doing studies every day and you still can't uh, draw an eye, just for example, and you feel like you're making no progress, then you can try two things. 
one thing is to continue uh, drawing and waiting and um, yeah someday it might get better just be patient um, but the other thing is to challenge yourself and try to use less of the references um, but just step by step so in this way you are forced to memorize and to remember just take a short look and put the reference away so you don't see it anymore and just start to draw you can um, repeat that step uh, take short peeks on it put it away and continue drawing and yeah even if it might not look as good as you wanted at first try to remember it's a learning process and it needs time and of course just so you know, I'm not talking about artists who just started drawing. We all started drawing by copying art, not referencing art. So let's be honest. And even copying stuff is not a bad thing. As long as if it's for the learning process and not to steal art. And of course, as long as if you are giving credit to the source. My advices are for aspiring artists who are still growing but um, who are also no beginners anymore. Artists who are working seriously on their own art and style. Yeah, but I'm not sure if this video was helpful at all. I'm always not sure if I'm talking nonsense or if it's helpful. I don't know. Um, but besides this, I personally really like that I started to talk a lot more in my videos. Uh, especially through this 30 day challenge. And of course, uh, about art-related stuff. And it seems like you also enjoy my videos a lot more. You see, the 30-day drawing challenge is not only to challenge you, it's challenging me as well, and not only through drawing. I think it's a huge push to expand our knowledge and also train to draw different uh, things, uh, to draw more different things trying out something new like techniques or materials, expanding our view of things and stop being afraid of something we might have not even tried before. I want us to support our imagination and to do more to achieve our goal at drawing. So thank you very much for watching my videos and I will see you soon. Bye bye!